The University of Windsor and under Sun Acres are working on a, a really interesting piece of work that examines how renewable energy can be integrated into uh, energy supply systems for greenhouses. Underson Acres is a progressive grower and they're really interested in uh, reducing their environmental footprint where possible. So we've had uh, a history of expertise in dealing with uh, the integration of renewable energy into uh, industrial processes and in the end greenhouses are an industrial process. So we're focusing on energy from the sun. We're going to get specifically solar thermal energy and solar electric energy photovoltaics and the advantage here is that we can sort of offset the dependence on natural gas which of course we know has a carbon footprint and has a notable water footprint as well so uh, greenhouses need a lot of heat energy uh, to to manage the growing processes but they also increasingly need more electricity a lot of greenhouses are moving to lights and lights extend the growing season and lights have quite a demand for electricity. So wherever we can basically offset the requirement for that's uh, grid connected electricity that may be more expensive if we can make those uh, those prices more in line with what the growers looking for uh, it's a very exciting opportunity for us. 100% we have seen benefits. Uh, benefits right now from an information gathering perspective. Um, it's very easy to get into a best practices, this is what we did last year and the year before, and continue on with those methods. For example, you know, measuring carbon dioxide concentration in a greenhouse, which is key to plant growth. Typically, for 24 acres, you might measure it in two locations, right? But if we're able to measure it in different areas and stratify it and so we can get it at different height levels, that gives us a much better idea of where the carbon dioxide is going and how it's being distributed in the greenhouse. So that's a very simple example where more monitoring um, can help us better understand what's currently going on and that's the first step before implementing new technologies. We produce uh, sweet bell peppers. Our entire crop is sweet bell peppers. In the Lincoln area in general, peppers, cucumbers and tomatoes are the three major crops, although there are others in the area. The greenhouse industry is definitely the largest in the Lincoln area um, and Lincoln has the highest concentration of greenhouses in North America. We provide a good proportion of the United States, especially the eastern United States, with their produce. Again, making this whole process more efficient from an energy perspective and from a people perspective um, is very important for the whole community. Staying innovative and staying on top of the curve for things is you know, our main goal for everything, from crop production to pest management, heating demands and how we produce heat in our greenhouse, uh, climate controls, ventilation, curtains, right into our irrigation recirculation system and into our packing house. We are always trying to stay ahead and do things that can streamline to be more efficient and not only for us but uh, for the people we're growing for as well and to ensure that our, our facility is food safe and uh, our product going out the door is what we want it to be. At a place like the University of Windsor, that's where you develop relationships and uh, you hope you can carry those on into your work life. And uh, starting here was based on work that was done while I was at the university, uh, working with Dr. Carabo and Dr. Ting. And uh, being able to continue that here with new projects now that we have the industry uh, side of it covered, if you will, um, that's the key to getting things done, taking it out of the uh, institution and into the industrial and getting that both to work together. Um, and that's really how you get things done and get things implemented at the end of the day.